dividend stocks that pay great money. This is Ash Cash Tash, where we take the complexity out of money matters. We are here to guide you through the ins and outs of wealth management with a smile. In this channel, we believe that navigating the world of finance shouldn't be dry and dull. That's why we bring you a delightful blend of professionalism and comedic relief to keep you engaged while we unravel the mysteries of personal finance. Prepare to embark on a journey of financial enlightenment as we cover topics such as budgeting, investing, and strategic money management. But fear not, we'll infuse each lesson with a pinch of comedy. Because let's face it, laughter is the best financial medicine. So grab your notepads, power up your calculators, and let's dive into the fascinating world of wealth creation. Together, we'll uncover strategies and insights that will have you confidently navigating the financial landscape. Let's kick off with JP Morgan Chase, the giant of the banking world. Why do I dig it? Well, they may not offer the flashiest dividend yield at 25 to 2.8%, but in this market, it's still a solid option. Back in the day, dividends were like a hot 10%, but times have changed, my friend. JP Morgan is a powerhouse with a strong balance sheet, and they even swooped in during the financial crisis to snatch up their turns at a bargain. Talk about savvy moves. With JP Morgan in portfolio, you can enjoy a steady stream of dividends. Imagine owning 100 shares and raking in 400 bucks a year. Cha-ching! It's all about those scalable dividends, baby. Now, let's move on. Now, let me introduce you to another gem in my dividend stock collection, Air Products. This Pennsylvania-based company may not be the flashiest name in the market, but it has a lot of going for it. Get ready for some exciting details. Air Products has been impressing me with its consistent dividend payments of around $7 per share annually, with a yield of approximately 2.43% or even higher if the stock price continues to dip, it's an enticing option for dividend seekers like myself. In fact, I'm getting pretty stoked about the possibility of snagging some more shares if the price falls even further. Who doesn't love a good discount? Now, let's talk about what Air Products actually does. Brace yourself, it's not the most thrilling industry out there. They provide various gases to manufacturers and industrial players. Yep, I did say it's not a consumer-facing business, but hear me out. This seemingly mundane line of work gives Air Products a fantastic moat and sets them apart from the competition. They've established themselves as leaders in the hydrogen and helium markets. And I find that pretty impressive. Think about it this way. When a manufacturing plant, like the Ford facility in Detroit, needs specific gases such as liquid nitrogen or oxygen for their production processes, they turn to air products. Sure, there are a few competitors in the mix, but air products has managed to secure a solid position in the industry. And here's the exciting part. They're not solely dependent on a consumer spending. As long as industrial and manufacturing sectors keep churning, air products should continue to thrive. Let's not forget about the financials. Despite the 15% dip in the stock price this year, air products is still raking in billions of dollars. They boast impressive profit margins and remain resilient in the face of economic fluctuations. It's these qualities that make me eager to add more shares to my portfolio throughout the year. I believe in averaging into a good thing. The refreshing world of PepsiCo, the third dividend stock in my portfolio. I'm sure you're quite familiar with this iconic beverage company, Coca-Cola's friendly competitor. When it comes to dividends, PepsiCo doesn't disappoint. They pay out a tasty $5.06 dividend per share annually which gets divided into four quarterly payments. So, if you do the math and divide that by four, you'll know what you'll be making on a delicious quarterly basis. Just like our previous contenders, Air Products and JP Morgan, PepsiCo offers a yield of around 2.74%. There might be some others that have a slightly higher or lower yield, but PepsiCo falls nicely in line with the pack. PepsiCo recently announced some exciting news during their meetings. They're planning to raise prices by at least 10% on some of their products. Now, you might wonder, why is that a good thing? Well, it's a testament to their strong pricing power. They believe consumers won't shy away from their products despite the price hike, 
which bodes well for the company. In an era of rising costs and inflation, PepsiCo aims to pass those expenses onto consumers without compromising their market share. Talk about a powerful thirst-quenching strategy. Let's also take a moment to appreciate the beverage industry dynamics. It's fascinating how Coca-Cola and PepsiCo almost have a monopoly on the industry. Whenever a new beverage company emerges, one of the two giants swoops in and acquires it. Gatorade, Powerade, Honest Tea, pretty much every drink brand you see in grocery stores is either owned by Coca-Cola or PepsiCo. They sure know how to quench our thirst and dominate the market. Let's take a nostalgic trip to one of the oldest talks in my portfolio, PPL, an electric company based in Pennsylvania, the land of my upbringing. This company has been powering up my dividends for almost a decade now, and it holds a special place in my investing journey. PPL treats us to a sweet dividend of $1.66 per share, which translates to a mouth-watering yield of around 5.6% or 5.7% annually. Talk about electrifying returns! While it may not be the flashiest growth stock out there, it has proven to be a stable companion throughout my investing career. The dividend payment has remained steadfast, providing a consistent source of income. Now, let's be realistic here. PPL operates in the utility industry, which comes with its fair share of risks. Factors like energy prices and other industry dynamics can certainly spark some challenges for companies like PPL. But hey, that's part of the game. With a deeper understanding of the industry and a desire for stability, I gladly keep PPL as a trusted member of my portfolio. So, while it might not boast mind-blowing growth or recent triple-digit gains, PPL brings a reliable current to my dividend collection. With its rich history and consistent payouts, this electrifying stock reminds me of the power of long-term investing. It's a true testament to the notion that slow and steady wins the race. Let's talk trash. And by that, I mean waste management, the next dividend-paying stock in my portfolio. Now, waste management may not sound like the most exciting business on the block, but trust me, it's a steady performer. They generously dish out $2.60 per share per year in dividends, which amounts to around $0.65 cents per quarter. Now, I know that might not be the jaw-dropping yield you were hoping for, but let me tell you why waste management still gets me excited. First off, think about it. People are always going to produce trash, and they're not about to turn their backyards into landfills. That's where waste management steps in. They're the garbage gurus, the recycling rock stars, and they make sure our waste is taken care of properly. In fact, they pretty much have a monopoly on the waste management industry in the United States, with just a few smaller players tagging along. But that's not all. Waste management isn't just about disposing of trash. They're diving into cool projects like biofuels, and other cutting-edge initiatives. They're committed to innovation and investing in research and development to keep their business at the forefront of the industry. Let's fuel up with ExxonMobil, another dividend stock in my portfolio. Now, I have to admit, I had some reservations about investing in the energy sector. I mean, we all want to save the planet, right? But I realized that having some exposure to energy could provide a nice hedge and balance out my portfolio. And boy, I am glad I made that decision. ExxonMobil, the big kahuna in the energy industry, pays a solid dividend of over 4%. That's right, they're dishing out a juicy $3.52 per share annually. Now, keep in mind, last year they were giving out even more, around 8%. But hey, the stock price doubled in the blink of an eye, so the yield came down a bit. Having some energy stocks in my portfolio has been a smart move. Just look at the numbers. While tech stocks were taking a little tumble, energy stocks were soaring, up about 30% year-to-date. Talk about a nice security blanket. Now, you might be thinking, why ExxonMobil and not some other energy giants like Shell or BP? Well, I believe ExxonMobil has the cash-producing prowess to keep me satisfied. They've got the financial muscle and the ability to weather storms in the energy industry. 
Sure, there are alternative energy companies out there, like solar and wind, but many of them aren't quite profitable yet. And let's be honest, they carry a bit more risk. So, I prefer to have a portion of my assets in a company like ExxonMobil that can deliver consistent cash flow. All aboard the dividend train with Union Pacific, the unsung hero of my portfolio. Now, I know what you're thinking. Railroads? Really? Isn't that like a blast from the past? But hold on, there's more to it than meets the eye. You see, shipping containers via rail is actually a budget-friendly option compared to those big old 18-wheelers. And Union Pacific, the mighty railroad company, is making sure those containers are chugging along efficiently. They're dishing out a dividend of 4.7 cents per share annually, which gives us a cool 1.95% yield. Not too shabby for a railroad stock, huh? But here's the kicker. Union Pacific stock price has soared like a rocket, shooting up around 500% in the last few years. Talk about riding the rails of success. Now, I admit, it's a bit concerning when stocks are on a hot streak. But fear not, their balance sheet and cash flow are looking mighty fine. With the influx of goods coming from China and other countries, Union Pacific is on track to keep those trains rolling and profits flowing. And let's not forget about the unique advantages of rail transport. Certain products like lumber and other goods just aren't suited for trucking. Railroads provide a cost-effective and reliable solution for shipping those items across the country. Plus, let's be real, building tunnels as an alternative would be way too pricey. So, railroads are here to stay for the foreseeable future. And that wraps up another informative yet entertaining session with us. We hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Remember, as you embark on your financial journey, it's important to strike a balance between seriousness and a healthy sense of humor. By staying informed and having a few laughs along the way, you'll set yourself up for long-term financial success. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a moment of financial advice. We're committed to providing you with valuable insights that will make your financial journey a more enjoyable one. Connect with us in the comments section below. We love hearing from our dedicated viewers and we'll be there to answer your questions and engage in a little friendly banter. After all, finance doesn't have to be all seriousness. Until our next episode, keep honing your financial skills with a smile because laughter and financial prosperity go hand in hand. Wishing you all financial success.